Be sure to read the description below. I list all the parts to this filtration system and the cost involved, as well as other details. And please also read the comments for insights from people who know more than I do about plumbing and water filtration. So you, my friend, are wanting to put in a whole house multi-stage water filtration system. And you are wondering, A, if it is easy enough for you to do on your own, and B, if it is affordable. And I'm here to tell you how I did just that. So first, let me start off by showing you this. This is a uh, promotion that I ironically got in the mail right after I completed this project. And it says, 60% off whole house water filters systems. And this is not like, not exactly like what I put in, but it is a multi-stage system with sediment pre-filters and carbon filters and whatnot. Um, but the cost is regular price, $2,000, $19.98. Now only $7.99, so $800, down from $2,000 to $800. That's a pretty good deal, um, if, especially if that's installed. And I can't read the fine print, but I, I'm assuming it is. Let's just assume it is. Well, I'm going to show you what I put in, which I like better than this. And it cost me right around $300, give or take. So that's less than half their 60% off. And I just had to do a little work to put it in. It, but it was not that sophisticated, not that complicated. Uh, but it is a great system with a diverter and it has uh, clear uh, filter housings, which I really like because you can see the contaminants in your water and you know visually when is a good time to change your filter. So let us let me show you exactly what I've done and I think you'll really enjoy this process. Keep in mind, I'm a do-it-yourselfer, I'm a homeowner, I'm not a professional, but my system works. Also, keep in mind that my system is one inch and the parts are considerably more expensive than say three quarter inch or half inch. And your system, if it's, if it's smaller parts, may be considerably less expensive, like 70. Now, you might not be able to locate your system indoors like I'm about to show you. In that case, you'll need to explore other options like, like an outdoor cabinet or a shed or something like that. Okay, first of all, I got, I got really lucky in that I have, uh, my house is on stilts and I basically have a mechanical room downstairs, which is where I located my system. Uh, and it was easy enough to just turn this off rather than go out to the street and turn, turn the water off the main uh, box. So what, what that entailed is the water goes up in here into this crawl space. So I have a ha access panel and I have the line going in a beeline to my water fill, uh, water heater on the opposite side of the house. So I was able to hit the main line right here and go overhead and drop it down into this mechanical room. And kind of give you an idea, it's a little bit of a mess, but uh, there you go. There's one part, there's one inch line going up and tapping in, and there's the other one inch line going up. So that's the supply side. And that's the outlet side going back to the water heater. So I just, basically, I cut into the line up there, cut out a th three foot section and put an elbow and then routed it into here, ran it into here and then back out to the water heater. So that is what I did. I made myself busy while I was waiting on pieces and parts, you know, for it to come in, in the mail. I, I ordered everything online. Um, eBay, Amazon, and it came pretty quickly, but I was ready for it. Here it is, finally, all the pieces, except the connectors. All right, now, finally, I'm ready to uh, begin assembling. I just wrapped up my uh, connectors, push connectors with Teflon. Get those ready to tighten with a open end wrench. I, I'm just laying it out, finalizing it, get, cutting little pieces of uh, pipe, one inch. I was attracted to this uh, slip fit. Uh, you, I don't know, that's this is my first time doing one of these, so I'm just gonna run with that. <clears throat> and I can uh, either disconnect here, and this will spin, 
or I can uh, slip this out of here, out of this slip fit, push fit, whatever you want to call it, sharp bite. Um, so I'm ready to go. I'm just cutting pieces and laying it out and build everything and, and uh, bring it all in at once as one system. So coming up here to my diverter, I just did these, made sure that these lengths equal the same distance, obviously, as the body of the unit, which they do, it does, just so everything is uh, nice and square. Now I just have to cut a, four more pieces of pipe. So I am, today is the day I'm going to finish this up. Yes, this has been ongoing for a while, uh, just doing what I can when I have the parts and so forth. Uh, but today, I think I'm going to connect everything. And so, just making sure I have these filter cartridges ready to go. And I'll start with, I have to uh, cinch or crimp these. And I'll put these in off position. We'll go one step at a time. I've got this main line cut and redirected. I don't know if you can see that, but just as I said I would do, it's going elbowing into this line, going into the filter, and then coming out that line on the top, going it back into the house toward the water heater. Okay. It's hard to breathe. I'm laying on my ribs, and I'm going to get out of here. Not for good, because i got to come insulate these pipes, but for now, anyway. Okay, the system is complete. Now, let me show you up close and personal. I'll go over all the parts with you in just a minute. But first, what is this system uh, that, I, that I drew out and then, and then made a reality? It's just something that is very simple that I thought I, I would need. Um, it's a, This is a diverter, right? So my water is running through the filter. But if I don't want it to be filtered, say I want to go outside and water my grass for an hour, well, I needed to figure out a way I could just bypass this whole thing. And that is with these three valves, right? So if I shut these off right here, I just took this out of, out of the circuit. So this is no longer in use because it's shut off here. So I have to open this and that completes that circuit again, okay? So now that is just like it was before I had any idea to put in a filtration system. There you go, my water comes in from the street and comes into my house and it just happens to run through these elbows and no filtration, all right? Then I open these back up. And now the water is running through my filtration system. And I can close this because I don't want it sneaking through here. Okay, there you go. Now let's talk about parts. So um, everything is working. I have no leaks. I, I'm ecstatic about it. Um, but let's go over it. So I have two T's. These are brass one-inch T's. There's one here and there's one there, okay? Okay. So write that down, whether you're a uh, three-quarter inch or one inch, you're going to need, if you do this system, this is just something I drew out ahead of time. I said, well, this will work. Um, and I have uh, cinches, these stainless uh, steel cinches. These are not called crimps. I think these are called cinches. I, I used to work exclusively with brass crimps, but I, I got these instead. And you'll need, a, you'll need a tool for that if you don't already have one. Also, keep in mind that if you so choose, you can use push fittings for all of these uh, tees, elbows, what have you. They're just more expensive, but they work fine. I don't have a problem with them. Okay, so I've got one. Never mind these. I, I had extras loaded up in case I, I thought I was going to do extras, but I said, nah, I'm not going to do that. Some people do that. I never do. And I, again, I had no leaks. So let's count the uh, cinches. There's one, two, let's call them crimps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or sorry, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, never mind that. And then up in the attic or crawl space, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's at the L's where, you know, the, the these uh, elbows, right? Okay. So that's, uh, so say 20, say a couple of bags of 10 in, 10 piece of crimps. So 20 crimps, right? Okay, so that's that. And I got, for this system, I got one, two, three valves. Okay, now let's let's count elbows. Uh, two up above, obviously, for each of these lines where I tapped in. That's two, three, four elbows. Okay, and we'll go over prices. I'll try to put, I'll try to put a list of this down below. Now, this is a slip fit to a male threaded to go into this filter housing, right? One inch slip fit, one inch threaded. Now I can, I bought a tool to remove this. If I ever need to take this off to service or replace this part of it, there's a tool you just push against this release ring and then you can back this out of here. This, however, is the kind I'll explain that doesn't, you can't release it. So if I ever need to remove this, I basically, We'll need to push this ring back, remove this whole thing. So this is a solid piece, which is attaching to my sediment filter. So it's one inch uh, female uh, to a push fitting. This uh, one inch is just so pushed in. Learn from my mistake. I, I wish that I had actually gotten this, this style. It would have been female on this end. But uh, for, for this piece here, I could have gotten a push fitting to female and instead of this okay these two pieces so look for that when you're if you're doing the same thing here and by the way this is all packs this is all i just bought a couple of uh eight or ten foot sticks of packs and they were about 12 bucks a piece something like that okay so you'll need two of these push fitting to a uh, female one inch just to just to get this in line and that, that's really it, right, for my parts. That's it. Three valves. I mean, yeah, three valves. Uh, 20 or so cinches or crimps. These two pieces. And these two pieces. And then you're going to need your filtration. And I got this system here has the, the, uh, the pre-filter here, it's the sediment filter. And... It has this carbon filter, and I love that you can see everything. You can see it. You're not going to ignore that. If it gets that this gets filthy, you're going to say, "Hey, man, it's time to replace that." Um, and of course, I have this pre-filter sediment filter that is a grit filter. And look, I can. I just attached it to my sink with a screw and a cable clamp, and that way I can run off any sediment that comes drops into here. All right? Beautiful. I love it. And that is it. No leaks. These are full. Let off a little air pressure. Okay. There we go. I think that's how you do that. We got all the air out of that. Okay. Great. I am so happy. I'll just close this diverter. Now I'm going through. Oh, open this all the way up. Going through the filters. Okay. For those of you who want to see uh, the uh, measurements, this is uh, 32 inches total. Right? But then you get another... Uh, a few inches with the with the valve with this valve right here the valve handle okay so I'm 36 inches yeah less than 36 inches I am about 35 and a half inches total about uh, about 22 inches for the whole contraption that's giving some play 
So it's roughly 22 by 36. By the way, for this system, I'm using the 10 by 4 and a half inch filter cartridges. And when you need to clean your system, you just turn, the, the way I have this design, you just turn off your valves here and here. Cut this out of the loop, and then you use your, your handy ring tool here to remove the, the housing. And uh, I have my extra 10 and a half. I, I like to have these at the ready, so I bought extras, uh, 10 and a half, but our 10 by 4 and a half filters are ready to go when I need to do so. So now I have, for my personal system, I have put in a an under sink filter for drinking water, which is now quadruple filtered. It's pre-filtered downstairs and up here it's got a, a filtration. Uh, this filtration is for local contaminants. This is a custom designed filter in here for the local uh, water issues that we have. Okay, so uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below. And if you have questions or comments, we also, of course, have a comment section as well as a description where you will find, hopefully, plenty of information. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy filtering to you.